Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. I've been off for quite a long time, longer than intended. I expect it to, to be off for about a week at the most. But as you can hear from my voice, I was struck down with a lurgy just as I was getting ready to come back online. And a uh, lurgy that's not really getting better. It's not terrible, but I think that my mind had a break from everything not just the royals but also work and now my body has decided it needs a bit of a break too so uh, i'm a little bit ill nothing too terrible um, apologies for the croaks and the sniffles uh, we're just going to have to ride it out there is so much going on in the royal world that i really wanted to get back online and uh, start catching up with what has been going on and for me uh, amongst all the many stories that have been swirling around in the last 10 days or so since I disappeared from YouTube, the most dominant for me is the story about the missing children, the Invisi kids, as some people call them. And in particular today, I'm going to look at the Netflix uh, shows that Harry and Meghan are filming. And of course, they were at the polo. Uh, Megan, uh, very cozy with Nacho and uh, Delfina's daughter Alba. And Alba allegedly was asking, where's Lilibet? Now, according to Neil Sean, for what it's worth, um, Harry was very keen to take Archie to the polo, just like Prince William took George to the football. He wanted to do that. And Megan said, no, uh, not unless uh, the fistfuls of cash were handed over and then we get the absolute opposite story from British newspaper I think it was the mirror might have been the sun that said Megan wants the kids in the Netflix shows but Harry says no it's exploitative and he doesn't want his kids to go through the trauma that he went through so we have a mystery on our hands as ever with the ghost children which is why we have the cute ghost tarot on the tarot table for this. And if you're interested in mysteries around the ghost children, Bookworm 2 has a very interesting video on her channel uh, about precisely that. That's uh, worth a listen, I would say. And let's remind you while we're talking about speculative stuff, let's remind you that this is just tarot and this is just for fun and entertainment and it is all my opinion and all speculation. We just read energy here, of course, and there is a disclaimer in the box below. And uh, I'm going to do Celtic Cross with the cute ghost tarot. We're going to ask what is going on and uh, we're going to see how Harry feels about having the children in the Netflix shows and how Megan feels about it and what ultimately is going to go on because there's all kinds of stories swirling around there's stories about the king inviting them to Balmoral sort of an ultimatum there's stories that Megan is worried the children are going to resent her later on because she's cut them off from their royal cousins and their all the, all the fun stuff of being a royal I would resent her if I was Archie and Lilibet and I grew up and realized I could have had access to all that fun stuff um, maybe she's beginning to realize but anyway that's for another day okay cards are beginning to jump there we go i'm getting back into my group i have not touched tarot cards in all this time which is quite um quite a thing for me i think it's the longest i've ever not done tarot so uh Celtic cross coming up what's going on with the netflix shows and the children Filming them, not filming them. What is really going on? We're going to look at Harry's energy and Meghan's energy as well and see finally what might happen. We have the Emperor as the underlying energy. That is male energy, male dominant energy. Could be Harry's energy, although it's very powerful energy. He does sometimes come up as the Emperor in my readings when he's really um, full of his own um, glory and all of that stuff. It's really about planning and structure and organization and who gets to say what happens. So I think that I could subtitle this reading, Who's the Boss? If you remember that old TV show, Who's the Boss? 
who gets to decide? And hopefully we're going to find out in this reading. So heart of the reading, what is going on here? And we, ooh, we've got the moon in reverse. That is the card of mystery, secrets, shadow stuff, um, confusion, fear, doubt, uh, a little bit cray cray always, the moon, mothers, birth, bumps even, things that go bump with the moon card. And uh, it's in reverse, that means that secrets might come out, stuff that people are afraid of revealing, don't want us to know, uh, they're worried in my opinion, of course, that mysteries are going to be revealed. Stuff that is hidden from view might just be revealed. So what in particular is the problem? Very interesting card, that one. Ooh, the tower. Wow. We were promised a great reveal by Lady C uh, precisely this time of year, springtime in the Northern Hemisphere. We haven't had it yet. We've had some hints. We've had Lady C's book, uh, which has uh, suggested that um, it all came crashing down um, uh, during a particular visit. Um, Harry and Meghan went on when uh, some unfortunate things happened and uh, they had to scurry away. And then the, the ideation, I can't say that word, um, the offing oneself ideation suddenly happened and the press were suddenly the villains and allegedly there were super injunctions and stuff. Uh, we're way past there, of course. We have the tower, which is something that is built on very weak foundations crashing down and it might be a story, it might be a narrative, it might be secrets and mysteries that could be exposed and that could bring the whole house of cards crashing down. We've got major arcana all over this reading. So, I mean, apologies for the, the slightly breathless voice. Um, we have the potential here that if these secrets come out, moon and rivers, it brings the whole Harry and Meghan story crashing down, the whole brand, the whole narrative, the whole everything. So what is at the root of this uh, can't show the children. Page of sticks, that is a child card, male child really. Archie maybe. And it all started of course with the malignancy as uh, some of us call it, with Archie. Um, it's spin though, the page of sticks, wands. For me, uh, in these royal readings, the page of sticks is spin, it's PR. It's spinning a story. And as I was saying, here the central issue of this reading is, will that story actually be exposed for being all just spin? So it's how to control the narrative, how to get the right message out, how to control the story around children. And in particular, Archie. Archie always uh, shows up as the real issue. Lilibet is the real mystery in these readings that I do, Constant, consistently. Let's try and say that right. And not sound like Harry sounded in his Travelist video. I have a legitimate excuse. He had something all completely different going on, um, in my opinion, and also in many other people's opinions. Focus of the Parkles right now. What do they want, really? They want to control the narrative, the creator. It's the magician, uh, traditionally in tarot. That is PR, that is spin, um, that is absolutely being in charge of what people know, what they hear, what they see. The um, PR exercise that is here, hidden in the um, minor arcana, becomes the creator, major arcana. They absolutely have to control this story. So what's been going on in the past? We've had polo, we've had football, we've had things, secrets coming out, the high priestess in reverse, and we have had secrets coming out. We've had Lady C's book. It hasn't, of course, been picked up by mainstream media, and I guess because there is a super injunction, that is my personal opinion about this. I have looked um, at the super injunction notion quite recently, as far as I can remember. And, um, the High Priestess is someone who knows stuff. That for me is Lady C, the secrets being revealed. 
and uh, it's also about birth because the high priestess is about women's mysteries uh, just as the moon is really but the high priestess um, is even more secret than the moon the moon is more about your shadow side your faultiness your things that you want to um, keep hidden away from the public if you're a public figure things you don't want people to know about you because the whole brand could come crashing down if they found out so you want to control the narrative but the high priestess is someone who really knows stuff and she has spilled the beans as best she can without being sued um, I'm on the fence with Lady C I'm not a, a great fan and I'm also not a, um, a, a an opponent of her um, um, and and her claims and, and whatever else I just uh, I try and pick my way through all these stories and all these contributors and just um, go with my spidey senses, my intuition as best as possible. I think that is what has been going on. There's been some revelations that are uncomfortable. What is coming with the children? They are filming presently. Both got themselves into a mess. Eight of blades, that's eight of swords, stuck, stuck in a trap. And really with the eight of blades, it's a mess of their own making. They, ma they created this mess. It's imaginary. The eight of blades is always something that you fear, something that you can't see your way out of. And uh, they created it. We've got the page of sticks and the creator surrounding the central issue. And they're finding themselves now in a predicament. I am sure that Netflix is saying, we want to see those kids on screen. Where are they? show us and uh, for whatever reason the moon in reverse the high priestess in reverse the tower they can't show them on screen they don't want to show them on screen or they can't show them on screen let us see who thinks what about what harry first down here i've repurposed this celtic cross harry wants to drop this whole thing ten of wands Whatever is going on, ten of sticks in this case, whatever is going on, you can see the little suitcase there in this card, which I have to say I've never really noticed before. It's an unusual addition to the ten of wands slash sticks. It's the give up card. I can't do this anymore. It's too heavy for me. I'm too isolated. I'm too alone. I'm too burdened. I can't remember the stories that we've told, the things that we have said in the book I don't think he even knows what's in the book half the time my personal opinion about that book is that uh, Megan had a lot of say in the contents this is all my personal opinion I have read on it and um, he allegedly narrated the audio book I don't believe it I know from my own personal experiments with voice software that you can clone voices and you can use them and I think that's what happened I don't think Harry even knows what's in the book and now stuff is coming out we've got two the two biggies in the tarot about secrets coming out uncomfortable secrets that could bring the whole house of cards crashing down Ten of sticks in reverse. He just doesn't want to do this anymore. I should imagine that at some level he just wants to go public and explain what's going on and get over with it. Um, get it over with, sorry. And we are hearing rumours that he might be ready to give up his titles and um, give up his councillor of state position and really entrench himself in the United States. And that would solve the whole problem of what's really going on with these uh, ghost children and um, their provenance and all the things that people speculate about because there is so much mystery and confusion around them so that is a very uncomfortable prince I use the term in inverted commas prince Megan what's Megan about yeah nine of cups in reverse equally unhappy it's one of the great pregnancy cards, of course, cups on months, nine months there. It's in reverse and a lot of speculation that um, she might have some issues, fertility issues, shall we just say. Um, this card is in reverse. She wanted certain things. She wished for certain things. Of course, the minute there were children, it meant that her access to royal funding was for life. Mother of royal children, blue-blooded children, can't cut her off. 
if the marriage goes south that's my opinion it's not only my opinion lots of people speculated at the time she got pregnant in inverted commas in my opinion so very quickly as um, an older woman and uh, with as I say rumored fertility issues but it's turned from a dream nine of cups upright to a nightmare nine of cups in reverse so these are two very unhappy people i'm not seeing a money card i'm not seeing i insist on being paid tons more money by netflix uh, before i show my children i'm not seeing um oh i want to protect them and i don't want them to be triggered like i was triggered as a child with cameras flashing in my face which uh to be fair to prince harry must have been very difficult very difficult um so i'll give him that but there are two people with matching misery and the ace of blades in their very near future of oh no we are stuck now in this situation so hopes and fears for this lovely pair parents of these children hanged one they're worried that they are they're in a bind and that there is no easy way out of this bind major arcana the hanged one somebody who is hamstrung powerless victimized um uh, always because it's neptunian energy as well somebody who's confused and uh, disoriented um the hanged one hanging upside down that is disoriented until you begin to see things differently and acclimatize to the new perspective that you have to acclimatize to with this card it's difficult energy it's one of the most difficult cards in the tarot it's difficult to interpret in readings because it's neptunian energy it is difficult to process in your own life when you get um the hanged man as it's traditionally called in your own life it's like oh what do i do and sometimes you can't do when you get this energy you have to just wait it out a bit like i've been trying to wait things out <laughs> in the past and uh, then got a bit of a whammy along the way with um, um, a little dose of of allergy um, so they're worried that they aren't going to be able to action that's a terrible word but it just seems appropriate in this context their way out of this bind that they've got themselves into eight of blades what is going to happen with these children and netflix and seeing them in public just generally wow ten of cups in reverse this whole thing is going to really come crashing down this notion you can see in the ten of cups mom and dad and two children that is the um the dream family the illusion that they have spun for us the creator and the page of sticks this mystery this uh, this perfect family that they have um, created the illusion of for us they have spun and we know they've spun it because we have the eight of swords and the hanged one is not going to survive this netflix stuff there must be children lady c is insistent that there are um if alba if nacho's daughter is asking where's lilibet and he is saying this it means that there really is a lilibet uh, for those who don't believe that there are children my sense of it is that there are but the circumstances around them are extremely murky as you can see from the cards that have shown up in this reading the cards the type of cards that show up consistently when i do these readings and so for me as an energy reader who's just going on my intuition and what the cards are showing up for me there is a mystery around these children and the happy ever after that harry and megan were trying to portray trying to spin is not true this is an interesting card coming back to this underlying energy because it's who's the boss who's in control of this situation the cards are telling me that neither of them is in control the cards are actually telling me with this that the one who's in control is the king and he has allegedly issued an ultimatum bring the children to balmoral i want to see them and uh, proof of life bring them along let them get to know me let them get to know their cousins or else there's that kind of thing in the mix and 
I'm beginning to think that there might be something in that story. We'll read on it soon, provided my voice and my lungs hold out. They'll hold up. But that's a very interesting card. Um, it's also government. Um, it's people who make laws, who, who rule. And we have a constitutional monarchy in the UK. So it's not just the king who can decree something. It has to be run through Parliament as well. So there it is. Interesting cards on the tarot table. I'm beginning to find my air again. Um, but, so thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me during my absence. And I will see you on the next one.